Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes? Hey. Guess who's on his way in? What, Davidoff? He just called the office. Arrange him a lunch, he says. He treats the office staff like his uh, uh, personal assistants. He shouldn't be a drain on our resources. Look, I'll, I'll talk to him. Can you let the garage staff know he'll be wandering around down there and make sure we have the usual room set up for him? Yeah, no problem. Roll out the red carpet. Davidoff's in town. Last I heard he was joining us in Singapore, but today he just shows up. Don't let him get to you like this. We'll handle him. <sighs> Remind me why I went into business with him. At least you have an F1 team. For now. Look, he wants us to succeed. Doesn't always feel like it, Cass. Eh, I'll see you in the meeting. Hmm. Yeah. Could you take a look at this, please? Everything else looks fine. It's just about that rear wing. I don't want to sacrifice any more downforce. It's okay, it's your call. Now, let's uh, check the weather again in an hour. Oi, oi! <laughs> Did you miss me? Hello, sis. Hi, bro. Jackson. Devon. How are you, Devon? I am excited. Very excited to be involved again. Now, you, you pretend I'm not here, you carry on, please. Involved? How? Oh, you know, just a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of... Uh... Involved? How? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Huh. And what does Andreo say to that? He'll agree, Casper. It's fine. Were they pleased to see you? People are always pleased to see me. And what was your new role? Uh, I guess you might call me a liaison. Yeah, I just, I love to liaise. Dad wanted me to talk to people, keep people's spirits up, give some friendly words of advice, that kind of thing. But, uh, it was tough. Yeah, Aiden still had that ego. Still thought he was too good for the team. Wouldn't listen to Casper's advice, that was a problem. And then Andreo... He was worried about the future of the team. He had dad breathing down his neck. And Callie, well, let's just say Callie wasn't really looking for my advice. The whole thing was a mess. I mean, honestly, I'd only been gone five minutes.
The two Connor Sport teammates not exactly doing each other any favours this afternoon. For me, they're a little bit too close for comfort. What is Aidan playing at? Tell him to back off. OK, Kelly, he knows. Clearly he doesn't know. <sighs> Yeah, same old stuff. Jackson really wants to make a move out there, but Mayer, no chance. Not letting him pass. Towards the curve of Grande we go. He's going for it. It's really close. It's too close. There goes Mayer's front wing. Oh, Aiden Jackson, what happened there? This now seems like a running theme at Connor Sports. Yes, this race is critical for them. When are they going to just pull themselves together? OK, box please, Kelly. Let's get that wing replaced. This is a joke. Box this lap, please. Box this lap. Yeah, copy. OK, let's go now. Come on. Perfect job on the turn in there, mate. Looks like a nice stop time. We're happy with that one. OK, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. your overtake button more it's time to utilize some of this energy come on okay good work great pass
that's just five laps of fuel remaining. OK, you're in ninth, ninth position. Alonso's ahead of you. OK, here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by. 4.2 seconds. They're on old mediums. Sergeant's behind you. OK, they're on old softs. The distance to the leader is 19.8 seconds. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Four laps remaining. OK, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 3.6 seconds. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. OK, you've just started the final lap of the race. Final lap. Nice work, mate. That brings you up a place.
And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. So Mayer managed to pull it back in the end, but if this continues, Connor Sport are in real danger of sabotaging their own chances of a decent finish this season. There is so much talent in that team, and yet they're their own worst enemy. The reason they're not making progress is each other. Ridiculous state of affairs. And it's clear that Jackson continues to be the aggressor. Is it personal, Natalie? Well, you know, it does seem that way from the outside looking in, but... All I know is they just can't go on like this. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently and it's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be so proud of the victory they've secured here. Now, once again, another eventful race out there today for Connor Sport, Kelly. Is the team sabotaging its own chance of a decent finish this season? <laughs> Punditry is your job, Natalie. No, I am not here to comment on those kind of narratives. I will stick to driving the car, thank you. Everyone is talking about Devon's return to Connor Sport today. So is it good to have him back around again? <laughs> the thing about Devon is that he has an opinion on everything, and if he doesn't have one, then he'll just make one up. We're not short of opinions at Connor Sport, so I guess I'm worried he's going to be a distraction. Well, look, I'm loath to ask how bad your relationship is between you and Aiden, but there's been more contact today, so just enlighten us. It's not great, to be honest. Um, it's no secret that we've had our issues, uh, but I don't think anyone needs to be gossiping about it. That's just the way it is. Now, in the past, you've refused to acknowledge the role of your father in getting your current seat at Connor Sport. Why is that? Of course I acknowledge him, but it's really not a big deal. I mean, if you have a contact somewhere, it helps your prospects. That's just life, and that's really all there is to it. Thank you so much for your time. Go on then, let's have it. Is that any way to answer the phone? Say your piece, mother dearest. Well, fine, if you want to be like that. I was just calling to say your media instincts are markedly improved. Gold star. Thanks, Mum. That's reassuring, I guess. You seem less hot-headed, more in control, more likeable, darling. It's good. <laughs> because no one liked me before, is that what you're saying? Well, no, you can just be a difficult person to warm to, that's all. Wow. Okay, um, tell me what you really think, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll let you go, darling. Ciao. Slanging off. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> Scared the life out of me, mate. Ah, I didn't mean to. 
Picking up any tips? I don't think they like the short strays here. You didn't mind them, did you? <sighs> I love this track. Always do well here. Huh? Well, used to. How are you doing, Devon? Me? Golden, mate. Loving life. Yeah, sure. You know what it's like to leave all this behind, don't you? That's uh, the most difficult thing I've ever done. Yeah, well, uh, like that. But, uh, I didn't choose this, Casper. I didn't, um, I didn't. I know. But you came back, right? How's it treating you? Ups and downs? Hmm. How's our old teammate doing? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think he's happy here. <laughs> he still thinks he belongs in that top team, see? He's never let it go. That's the problem. You know, I, uh... I could have a word with him. I mean, if you think that might help. Uh, it's, uh, it's all a bit delicate. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I understand. No, Devon, I mean it. Eh? Scout's on him, mate. Hey, we need your input on this one. Andreo, did you read his email? I glanced at it. He's a sly old fox at that one. Thank you for finding a place for Devon. As if we had a choice, Casper. As if it, as if it was our decision. <laughs> yeah, I know. How's it going with Devon anyway? Ah, uh, he's still struggling. But he does really care about the team, so you know, maybe it'll work out. Well, that's something at least. Rather him than his father, right? I'd rather neither of them, Casper. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, I'll see you. <laughs> yeah, see you. Did Casper really want you to talk to Aiden? Eh, I read between the lines. Look, Casper's good at lots of things, but I, uh, I know people. Yeah, I know how to get in their heads. And I wanted to help Dad, help the team, so, uh... Leave me alone! Listen, I'm just saying, mate, if you were such an incredible driver, you wouldn't be a Connorsport, would you? I'm sorry, it's the truth. No offense. Well, maybe I won't be here next season. <laughs> oh, dude. You know what your problem is? Yeah. You. You think you're better than the team. I remember, I remember when Aiden Jackson was just, just happy to be behind the wheel of an F1 car. We all like that guy far better than this one. You never liked me. No, but Casper did, once upon a time. Now you're different now. You think you're too good for the team. Your head's stuck in some imaginary big three seat in Cloud Cuckoo Land, mate. No, 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 no. You have got to drive the car you're in. 
You're lecturing me about ego. A subject I know well. Oh, right. I get it. So you're allowed to be cocky, but I'm not. Is that it? There's a difference. How can there possibly be a difference? This isn't you. This isn't you, mate. Oh, get lost. Be true to myself. Drive the car I'm in. The wisdom of Devon Butler. Should I be living my best life, too? Just drive the car you're in, mate, yeah? Ciao. Marina Bay hosted a Grand Prix that briefly ran in the 60s and 70s, but the Garden City re-entered the calendar for good in 2008. We missed it for a couple of years, but it was great to come back to the Singapore Grand Prix. We're here at the Marina Bay Street Circuit today, located in the heart of Singapore. The circuit consists of 23 corners, 13 to the left and 10 to the right. It's a track that's incredibly technical, so don't expect to see the drivers taking too much of it at full throttle. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and starting next to them is George Russell. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Verstappen, Leclerc, Norris, Joe, Ocon, Stroll, Jackson, Mayer, De Vries, Magnussen, Sonoda, Gasly, Bottas, Sargent, Hulkenberg, Sargent. And now it's time to head down to the track. Well, it's a beautiful night here at the Marina Bay Circuit, and as ever, a really enthralling Singapore Grand Prix ahead of us. That's right, Crofty. And while there's not many surprises at the top of the standings right now, there's a lot to watch out for further down the pack. One driver I'll be definitely keeping my eye on is Connor Sports' Aidan Jackson. He's been less than consistent so far this season. Aidan, you know what you're doing here. Let's lock in and give it everything. Show us what you got.
past, make use of the overtake button and see what you can do. Nice work, mate. That brings you up a place. Tire condition still looking good. Okay, DRS is now available.
No need to worry about the tyre condition for now, everything's looking good. Okay, you're creating some breathing space between you and the car behind by a few seconds a lap. Really good stuff. Great manoeuvre, you made it look so easy. Okay, we're approaching the pit window. You're going to be on softs.
OK, the pit window's open, so let's box this lap, box this lap. Right, let's go, come on. That was a fantastic stop, faster than we were expecting. And Callie's coming in for a stop. Pit Look after these tires now, we want to finish the race on this compound. Gap to your teammate behind is 30.0 seconds.
OK, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. Confirmed, we'll receive you at the end of this lap. OK, off we go, back into the race. Perfect job from you and the crew there, mate. We're delighted with that. OK, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps.
OK, this is your final lap, final lap of the race. Results are in there, we have it. What a race that was. The sheer grit and determination shown by some of the drivers out there today, Crofty, was nothing short of incredible. Elbows out, especially from Aidan Jackson. Loved his race today, and he finally delivered the sort of performance that we know that he's capable of. So whatever they're saying to him over at Connor Sport, he seems to be listening to. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. Now, Aidan, you have had your ups and downs this season, but tell me, on the whole, are you pleased with your overall performance? Today's race should be a normality, not an exception. You know, if I can get a few more performances like today, then, yeah, I'll be much happier. OK, I'm going to be cheeky, go straight for the jugular. If you had to choose a teammate between Callie and Devon, who would it be? I guess I'd have to choose Callie. We've had our differences, but I'd take her over Devon any day. Plus, she's clearly the better driver. Now, Aidan, you have recently hinted that you're not entirely happy at Connor Sport. Tell me, is it true? I think of Connor Sport in the same way I would my family. There are a lot of personalities to manage, but. We're a tight-knit group in this team. We might not always see eye to eye, but in the end, we all want the same thing. There's been wild speculation on whether or not Connor Sport can even be on the grid next season, so can you tell us more? People were quick to judge the investors, but I think they care about this team and uh, they want it to do well. I can't imagine anyone pulling out investment at this stage. 
That's great. Thank you. Hi, Davidoff. Aiden, appreciate the support today. Uh, yeah, no worries. You're right, the investors do care about this team. We all wanted to do well. Good to see you putting that message out there. It's true though, isn't it? You're not gonna suddenly pull out of Connorsport. The, the team's doing well. It really doesn't matter, Aiden. Connorsport will get fifth and all this speculation will become irrelevant. Well, what happens if we don't make fifth? My position on that matter has always been clear. Thanks again, Aiden.